This video is going to help you to plot linear graphs, straight line graphs, um, where you've got a, uh, a formula with a negative number of x's, normally presented like this, 5 take away x, 5 subtract x, um, or this one here, the second one we're going to have a go at, which is 6 take away 2x. Um, and the thing about these is that people often misinterpret what the formula is telling them to do. They're very used to doing times by 3, add 4, that sort of straight line graph. But this straight line graph is a, is a slightly different sort of formula. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just imagine that this was a, an exam type question and they would probably give you uh, the correct numbers for x that you're going to start from. So I'm going to start with uh, minus 1, 0, whoops, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so I'm just going to go from minus 1 to 4. Um, and I know that I've got the wrong set of axes here for it, but um, we'll be able to fit that on. So the question would say something like plot the graph y equals 5 minus x using the table of values. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to try and use this formula here, 5 take away x, to get our values. So the key thing here is that you're going to be putting your x values in this position in the formula. So the y number is always going to equal 5 take away whatever x number you're looking at. So again, if I start, I normally start from the positive numbers because I can get the pattern. Okay, If I start with this value of x, okay, um, I'm going to be doing 5 minus 4. Okay, So the y value in that case is going to be 5 take away 4, which is 1, like that. Okay, if I use an x value, remember x is going to be this number here. If I use the x value of 3, which is the next one to do, I do 5 take away 3, which is 2. If I use the next number, the x, next x value, which is 2, 5 take away 2 is 3. And you can see what the pattern is doing here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, it's not too tricky once you understand it, but lots of people at this point would would think, oh, I've got to times by 5, I've got to add 5, what do I need to be doing? Am I doing x take away 5? The order is important. It's the 5, always a 5, take away whatever x number is in your table. So now we go ahead and plot these numbers. So we're going to start with minus 1, 6, which is there, 0, 5, 1, 4, 2, 3, 3, 2, and 4, 1. And you can see that that's our straight line. And it's going diagonally down like this. We'll just draw a nice straight line through there, all the way across the grid, and I've done it. The second question is a little trickier. This time we've got 6 subtract 2x. OK, so I'm going to start this time from 0. And I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, like that. OK, so you imagine that the exam question has come along and said, right, use the formula y equals 6 minus 2x uh, to fill in the table and plot the graph. So the first thing to do is to fill in the table. OK, and in this case, our formula is y equals 6 take away two lots of your x number. OK, if you look up here, y equals 6 take away two lots of x. So that's where our numbers are going to go, in that position there. 6 take away two lots of whatever. And in this case, I'm going to start with 5. I like to start with the positive numbers. 6 take away 2 lots of 5. Remember your rules for the order of operation, or bid mass, or bod mass. Um, this is going to be 10, so we've got 6 take away 10, which is minus 4. The next one I'm going to do, remember the rule says 6, always 6, take away 2 lots of the x number. The x number, the next one I'm going to do is 4. So I'm doing 6 take away 2 lots of 4. Again, remember your 
order of operations. That should happen first. That's 6 take away 8, so it's minus 2. The next one will be 6 take away 2 lots of the x number I'm going to use is 3. So that's 6 take away 6, which is 0. Hopefully you can see the pattern that's forming here. We'll do one more. 6 take away, what's my next x number? 2 lots of 2. That's 6 take away 4, which is 2. And you can see the pattern is indeed going up in 2's as we work backwards. Minus 4, minus 2, 0, 2, 4, and 6. Like that. So now I go ahead and try and plot these numbers. 0, 6, 1, 4, 2, 2, 3, 0, 4, minus 2, and 5 minus 4, like that. And once again, nice straight line through those. Just like that. OK, and you would have got full marks. Just a very quick word. There is another way that you can think about doing both of these questions. I asked you to do y equals 5 minus x. And I asked us to do y equals uh, 6 minus 2x. If you are reasonably confident with your sort of rearranging, um, you could switch the order of these two items and call it minus x plus 5. And those of you familiar with uh, gradients and intercepts would recognize that the gradient is minus 1 and the intercept is 5. So you could quickly draw that as a graph passing through 5 and going down by 1 every time. This one, equally, you could draw this one, or write this one, as minus 2x plus 6, and again, a gradient of minus 2 and an intercept of 6. So the graph, you could quickly tell, would pass through 6, and it would go down steeper, 2 every time, like that. Um, that's a little bit more advanced um, than the scope of this video, but uh, it is an alternate method that you can use.